G'day mates, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm doing my updated trio drop spot guide and I'm gonna be covering four different drop spots, two major POIs and then two split drops. So you're gonna be able to find the perfect drop spot for you, whether you like to be more aggressive or whether you like to be a bit more passive. Not only that, I also recorded the drop from each of my teammates' perspectives so you and your teammates know exactly how to drop it. Please chuck a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, I'm going to start off with what is my favorite drop currently on the map for trios. You walk away with so much loot, it is absolutely ridiculous, and you're almost never contested. It's Weeping Woods, but hear me out. It's not a regular Weeping Woods drop. It's a split drop at Weeping Woods. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to have one of your teammates go to the far western side at the Sniper Tower. Then they're going to rotate towards the Henchman House to their north. You're going to have another player drop at the main building at Weeping and loot all that area immediately in Weeping Woods. And then you're going to have another teammate drop at the big Henchman House up to the east. You will almost never be contested because Weeping Woods alone does not have enough loot for a trio. And no one really split drops any of these major areas for other drop spots in the area. So the one thing I want to mention though, if you are dropping here, make sure you're trying to get as much metal as you can. So if you're the player that's going to be dropping at the sniper tower, you need to farm the metal in the basement of your henchman house. If you're the player dropping straight on the henchman house to east, you want to make sure you're getting as much metal in that area as you can as well. And if you're the weeping woods player, you're going to be farming the caravans in that area. Now, what you want to do if you get zone, which is almost every game because you're pretty much center of the map, is try to get as much fish as you can in the area. There should be at least one of your teammates, sometimes even two, that are walking away with max floppers or slurp fish. You even have three of the freezers inside Weeping Woods house. So if you can and you're that player, try to prioritize not eating the fish if you get slurp fish off the bat and hold on to them. I guarantee you will get more. Now, as far as rotations, your center map. So you have a lot of different options. The only thing I would suggest is avoid authority. If you have to rotate northeast or even just east in general, try to go south or north on the map past authority and then cut in. That's going to be the main tip for you on rotating. But honestly, your center map, the rotations from this drop are ridiculous. Just make sure you're maximizing getting as much loot on your path as you can because each of you should be walking away completely stacked. More than pretty much any POI on the map and I guarantee you'll almost never be contested. If you are contested though, just remember, try to secure getting weeping if they're all dropping there because most teams don't know about smart split drops so if they're triple dropping weeping that's fine contest them by being smart with the chests around the area maybe have one of you go main house one go small house and then one go the chest that are in the center you will get more loot and beat them in the long run and then you can split up and loot those other areas it's why it's such a great drop even if you are contested you can still make it work because it's near center map and it's almost on no one's early rotation paths now, our first POI of the video is going to be Retail Row. Now, Retail Row has a lot of different ways to loot it, but by far the best way is having two players drop on the back blacktops and one player dropping on the north blacktop. You want to loot your way together and then you want to start pushing across the houses. The reason for this being is sometimes you are going to get contested at Retail by maybe two to three teams. And if you're trying to go houses, you're really split up. So what you're going to want to do is drop blacktops, which will almost never get contested, work your way together and then push across and work as a team to eliminate the players at houses. Because if you try to drop houses, there's more chance you're gonna get 50-50 dropped on and people are gonna contest you. And that's when you're gonna have issues when Blacktop comes across and sweeps you out. However, if there are only two teams and you guys drop Blacktops and they drop houses, you can still win if you're smart and you get equal amount of loot anyway, but you're much closer together and it's much harder to find where the people are at Blacktops when you push across. Also remember, if for some reason you get heavily contested at retail, if you go blacktops, you can easily start pushing north and get all the loot in that area around the lake house, you've got the mountains, and also this is a drop that's very, very prone to getting marauders. So make sure if you're walking away a little bit, not with the greatest loot, you've had a fight, maybe you won the fight, but you used a lot of shields, start prioritizing hanging around retail for a little bit, wait for marauders to spawn, and then grab them for extra loot. It's one of the best ways you can play this. Also, remember that if you're the player dropping on the northern uh, blacktops there's a lot of nom spawns here so make sure you're prioritizing peppers or the shields properly and using them to your best ability because there's a lot of loot here when I would recommend fighting at Retail Row, try to not push straight across through all the cars. Try to flank around. Try to go either to the north or south of Retail, flank back around and get them from behind. If you're just going to start pushing straight forward at the houses, you're leaving yourself open to players sitting on the roof to beam you up. This drop spot is insanely good because it's very fast to loot. It's near center maps. So you have great rotations. And like I said, you have those marauders, which in solos can be quite annoying. But honestly, in trios, they're some of the best loot in the game 
stink bombs, splashes, and RPGs for free. So I would recommend dropping black tops and then pushing houses if you're contested. If you're uncontested, feel free to have one or two of the teammates drop houses to make the looting path more efficient, but just make sure you're not contested. So the second split drop is a little bit of a more spread out one, but almost no one drops here. And the reason why it works so well is you get so much loot in the area, but you have such open sight lines when dropping in and when running towards each other, that it's very hard to get ambushed or have any trios go just one of these spots because none of them have enough loot for an entire trio. And almost no one in low level uh, cash cups and arenas are doing proper split drops. Everyone's just going major POIs. So this big split drop kind of revolves around the area to the east of Frenzy Farm. You're going to have one player drop at this kind of caravan location. You're going to have one player drop at this kind of, I think it's like broken down. I want to call it like a, a trash yard, junkyard, I think it's called as well. I'm going to put it on the, the screen here with the map. Don't worry. And then you want to have another player drop at the bridge. You want to start looting your way together. And from this, you're pretty much going to walk away. All of you individually completely stacked, but you didn't have to contest anyone. And again, like the Weeping Woods drop, you're now pretty much center map and can push any team you want. And you'll almost never be contested at the start. So with this one, again, make sure when you're flying in that no one's dropping on you. Make sure that each team knows how long it's going to take them to loot. And and try to maximize your material before you get together. If you're not contested, don't stress you're too far apart. When I see people do split drops, a lot of what they do that goes wrong is they try to loot really quickly and get back together. Take your time. There's nowhere in this area where someone's gonna push you quickly. If someone drops steamy, if the team drops frenzy, they're gonna be caught up fighting other teams and looting. You'll get together much before they're ready and then you'll be able to fight them. So again, like most areas on the map right now, the metal can sometimes be scarce, but that's why this drops so good. The player that drops junkyard has max metal from their fences and the cars. The player that drops bridge has max metal from bridge. And the player that's dropping on the caravan has enough metal from the little areas around them to get max metal as well. It is one of the most underrated drops on the map. I guarantee you'll almost never get contested. So if you're a safer player, a safer team, and you really want to just get maximum placement points, this is going to be the drop for you. Last but not least is Craggy Cliffs. It's one of my favorite POIs because I swear almost every single team that contests here doesn't know how to play it properly. I see way too many times full trios dropping main house thinking, hey, we'll get the shield barrels and then we'll fight the teams across from us. It never works that way. You pretty much got three people splitting next to no chests and no loot, and all they've got to show for it is a few shield barrels that take them so long to break anyway. So if you're going this drop spot, try to have one player drop on the house to the very west of the top, and they'll have a high ground advantage. If you have a controller player on your team or someone with really good aim, let them be that player. And then you want to have your other two teammates drop the houses to the south of that next to each other. These two houses get you two to three chests instantly and so much floor spawns. And then the north house has such a good kind of like, oh, sorry, the west house high house has such a good vantage point over the rest of craggy cliffs that you can then get all your loot push across and dominate whatever team was in main building however if you are uncontested that's when you're going to want to swap it up and all drop main building so you can prioritize getting the shield barrels there getting full shield so then whatever loot you find you can take with you so remember contested drop the houses and then fight main building uncontested that's when you want to drop main building now, whichever player has the fastest loot path, make sure they're prioritizing getting out and getting the fish really early because the only real issue with craggy cliffs right now that I see a lot of teams facing is they loot too slow and they either get rushed by the team at yacht if they get zoned or if they don't get zoned, they hit their rotates too slow. So make sure someone is going out and getting the fish as quick as possible because you can walk away with easy one to two full stacks of floppers or slurp fish. Just make sure someone goes out there quick, get all your metal from pretty much everything that's in craggy because there's so much metal and material here and you have a few options for rotating you can get a boat and go straight down the river if you're comfortable but chances are you're going to run into more teams i actually normally suggest getting a boat going to the geyser which is near yacht and then flying across down past pleasant park try to stick to that west side if you can on your rotates it's a lot safer than just booking it straight down the river where you're very loud and a lot of teams can set up for ambushes also, if you haven't managed to find any teammates yet, don't worry. I've made my Discord a major hub for players looking to find teammates. Just check out the link in the description or on the screen here, and then go to the, the section that matches your region and whether you're console or PC, type your message in there, and I guarantee you'll be able to find out some good teammates. 
All right, guys, that does it for another video. I really hope you enjoyed the multiple drop spots in one video. I tried to do a more detailed, just single drop spot video last time, and you guys didn't like it too much. So I think I'm going to stick to this style. And don't worry, I know the season's about to be over, but it's good to have a good drop spot now that you can practice coming into the new season. And when that new season drops, you better believe I'm going to get a drop spot video out so quick to help you guys so you can start practicing it for Cash Cups and FNCS. If you liked the video, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you liked this style more than doing my detailed one drop video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. I'm trying to get 100K by the end of the year. I know it's ambitious, but I know we can do it. And yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.